Okay, so we have today the dark secrets behind the whole live CN instant incident. Now I'm tr I'm you know, I'm I'm actively trying to kind of like learn about Holy Live, learn about the history of Holy Live. I think I, I I know to some extent like the gist of you know like the Coco versus China um situation like the Taiwan um Coco situation. But uh, yes, we have uh this video from a. Uh, Rima, even star. I'm um, definitely do go and I'll uh, show her some support. Definitely do go and I'll uh, give her a sub. You have not. She makes really amazing um documentary videos. She makes great amazing videos. So definitely do go and I'll uh, show her some support. So um yeah, we'll just check out this uh video. The dark secrets behind the C N. Wait, the dark secrets behind Holy Live C N incident. Hmm. He says he loves you, then he loves you. Are you gonna be tricked so easily? I love you guys. I love people who support us. Stupid chat. Rarely in the VTuber scene, let alone in VTuber's history, have we ever witnessed such a display of manipulation and hypocrisy as we're about to see in today's story. Damn. Sure, there has been a few outliers here and there among indies who have engaged in dubious actions while profiting from the anonymity that comes with hiding behind an avatar. However, it's the sheer scale of the events that are about to unfold that makes this story Yeah, I mean, there's, sadly, there's always bad eggs within everything. Like, there's always, there's basically always going to be, like, um, you know, bad people, you know? Because, like, even with, um, you know, even with, like, face cam content creators, you know, like, we, we still, right, can present the the best of ourselves but then behind closed doors we could be a whole you know somebody could be a terrible horrible person there's been examples of that and i think being a vtuber i think there's even more of that because there's even more of a you know um like a, a not a mysterious aspect to it in the fact that you don't show your face that you sometimes could play a character and in that you can very much hide your identity and potentially do horrible things and i think it's even easier in the sense of like where people don't know you can't see your face they don't know you you could very easily you know it's easy to get away with doing bad things and it's sadly there's always just bad people within everything and there yeah there's several examples of just indies or corpo features doing bad things um but i think that's just you know, innately there's bad apples within like every community, within everything, you know, that are sadly content creators who are bad people. Very truly unique. And while I understand some of the motivations behind them, I can't say that I wholeheartedly agree with them. Mm. Now, before we start, I want to underline that most of the information and documents that took place during that time are either destroyed and the ones that survived are not necessarily the most trustworthy mm. material so i suggest that you take everything you will see in this video with a grain of salt as these are accounts or claims that are most likely generated by users or someone's recollection right. of the events but i'll do my best to hmm. so is it big so it's, it's oh so it's, the information is like not there is it because um they just you know maybe is it is it because like a uh, cover just didn't want any of it to be around like did, did cover specifically like, take that information down or i wonder what happened to that information that's interesting. Angle everything and walk you through the several claims that have happened, as well as show receipts. But as usual, I suggest you guys do your own research so you can come to your own conclusions. Fair, that's very fair, and yeah. As usual, all of my sources will be listed in the description down below. This video is meant to be an accompanying video to my last video on Curious. Oh, Code. okay. So if you want to fully understand the complex power dynamics and politics at play, I highly recommend you watch it as well. As okay, we might watch that one next. Let me refer to briefly some of the concepts that we already talked about there. Now, let's get right into it. I, I, li I like what she, she said in the beginning though. Like, it's don't take what she says 100% as fact. Because I think sometimes people like take these like, you know, um, these like uh, videos where people do like, you know, documentally and things like that, like as 100% like factual. I mean, so, some of the cases is when the information is there can be factual, but obviously not all the information is there. So it's kind of uh, harder to, uh, yeah, it's kind of harder to actually get that information and it actually being like factual, you know? 
last two years are probably not aware of these events because these date back I, I to wasn't up to three years that's ago, true I wasn't basically ancient history and internet time there used to be a hololife branch in China hololife owed I had no idea to their Chinese yeah branch. I had absolutely no idea there was ever a Chinese branch <clears throat> that that's true because I was a, I'm a Noah fan like I'm someone who's been Noah I had absolutely no idea that a China branch ever existed as well as we mentioned before they helped popularize their vtubers through various gacha game collabs such as azure lane add to that that anime is quite popular yeah, there it and is you can see why china would be a good fit for hololife additionally hololife gained popularity on billy billy before mm. they even opened their own official accounts there there were fan made accounts that gained lots of traction mm. almost as much Makes as sense. the vtubers main youtube accounts and eventually, Hololife figured, why not just team up with those fan-made accounts and basically made them official. They debuted the first gen branch in 2019. Oh wow, wow, back in 2019. Wow, so it's, oh, so it's like kind of about, right, the same time as like Horror Stars came out, right? Um, well, not like the exact same time, but like, it, <clears throat> like in the same year. That's interesting. So it's maybe that was like the time when the company was trying to like, yeah, kind of like branch out more and grow. But from Yago's, like from what I've heard from Yago and the way that he's kind of talked about, um, you know, Cover Corp and Whole Life as a company, I'm not surprised that the that uh, Chinese branch did exist because he very much so feels like the, the philosophy of them as a company is to like really branch out more to to as many new audiences as they can and really become like an empire you know branch was quite successful until its very core was shaken up by the taiwan incident oh no during that incident whole life was split they were debating on whether to completely close off the branch or stay in china as the situation was getting quite shaky in China, you either play by their rules or you don't. So when Kiryo Koko and Hachama mentioned Taiwan in their YouTube analytics, it made waves of backlash. As China does not consider Taiwan a country, but rather they consider it a Chinese state. As every news reporter in the country picked up on this story, it was on the news. This became oh my too God. much for China officials to disregard. And since that point on, they did everything they could to make Cover Corp bow down to them and put sticks in their wheels every chance they got. And they're not the first company to do this to. Large conglomerates have been subjected to abide by the One China policy long before. McDonald had to apologize for showing Taiwan as a country in one of their ads as well. So anyway, while Coco and Hachama were suspended, everyone was wondering yeah as um i'm half chinese as someone who's you know half chinese i have i have family i have family there it like yeah we are like china does not does not fuck around with these sort of things they really don't they they, they really don't so like, they, they, they don't fuck around they don't mess around with these sort of things like people have a very like patriotic sort of mentality um with these sort of things um and like Chinese people could be very, very just like, like, like you think like the government is extreme in these sort of cases and these sort of things. Like the 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 people there, like the culture there, Chinese people have that same sort of ideals at, at, at that extreme level also. And I think that's just based off of just the culture that's built up there that they have that sort of. Um, mentality. I mean, I don't know, it's because I'm more, like, you know, I would say my mentality is based off of where I live, you know, I'm Australian, I live in this Australia, I am half Chinese, but obviously I don't live in China, so I'm not exposed to that, to those kinds of things. I would say my mindset is more westernized than, like, you know, based in that sort of um, more Chinese people mentality or, like, the Chinese government's mentality. I'm not really, like, you know, I'm not... In that patriotic sort of mindset, because I don't, I don't, I don't live there, right? I'm not exposed to that kind of culture. Life CN. A rumor started that the whole life Chinese VTubers would probably be terminated, but it was also speculated that they would be able to keep their avatars after mm. graduation and transfer to another company. What about so the? Was there not the possibility of them like being like absorbed into like a different branch? Or maybe it's because if they only can speak Chinese, like Mandarin, I mean, you know, if they, if they can only speak like Mandarin, maybe that mean, meant like they couldn't 
um, transfer to another company, obviously, because they speak a different language. Doris, in a stream on Billy Billy, even mentions that Cover wouldn't take a cut from them in the last month of the graduation, and they were debating on whether or not they'd keep their avatars. This was never confirmed by Hololive itself, mm. but it got perpetrated by word of mouth as also various YouTubers and news drama channels started talking about it. Oh. Everyone was worried about what would happen to the whole branch, but it felt like Cover wanted to let the girls off nicely, as the whole fiasco was really none of yeah, their fault. Yeah, not their fault, we don't yeah, know right. The exact reasons as to why the girls started saying that they would get to keep their abbeys or whether Cover actually discussed this with them. And mm -hmm. we will probably never, never know. know. Yeah. One of the main protagonists so it happened behind the closed doors. Artia. Artia is a Chinese YouTuber from Hololive that gained a lot of success with Western audiences. She oh. was entertaining, she spoke English fairly well, oh, okay. and she often fashioned her content around shitposting, memes, and watching her was like watching any edgy gamer streamer that were popular at that time. Mm, so like, like heavily kind of into that culture, I see, right? I love, I love girls with big swords. Yeah, they're kind of hot, right, chat? So she was very easy to relate mm. to and be entertained by. She first started off on Billy Billy and would occasionally stream on Twitch for her Western fanbase, oh, okay. which garnered her a lot of overseas fans. There wasn't many Hololive VTubers on Twitch back then, so people were actually grateful that she would stream for them on that platform. Mm. Not only that, but she was a skilled FPS gamer who reached high placements on the Overwatch leaderboard. Rig is 1 HP! Soldier, soldier, soldier. Oh, damn, Huge wait, she's brothers. high ranked. Huge. Wow. Let's go, dude. Okay. The other VTubers from that branch were Rosalyn, Spade Echo, Doris, Sivia, and Yogiri. At the height of the Taiwan backlash, Coco was incessantly harassed. YouTube mm. and Cover Corp were essentially powerless in protecting her. Yeah. Her aunties viewed themselves as going to war against Coco. They saw themselves as a military junta, so to speak, that existed to make her life miserable. Yeah. Like I say, like the, like I said, um, we like do have that sort of like almost like patriotic, extreme like patriotic sort of mentality. They were extremely organized and efficient into harassing her, from creating bots to spamming her chat. To because creating... because the thing is, I think that people kind of you know, um, the 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 you know peop you know people say you know it's like oh it's 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 nothing right it's like a, why, why would people get so mad it's such a small minuscule thing like i i, was, I am the, the same mentality i'm saying it's not but to chinese people it almost feels like you know she's insulting them like the country she's disrespected the country she's disrespected chinese people and so that's why there's this just extreme, insanely extreme response. Fan art of other VTubers with hidden messages that were uh, not so nice to mothers, to hijacking hashtags, their harassment was incessant. So yeah, Coco was having a tough time. Amongst that chaos, Artia tweeted out her desire to stay away from politics, stating that her stream was not the that's, place for it. That's fair, I mean... And to stay away from politics. Was this, hey guys, I am Artia, and as you all know, I... I meme around, but here's a very serious thing, and I want everyone to be aware of. Please don't talk about politics in my chat. If you want to talk about your po political view, the printing of platforms, leave my chat alone. No matter what your skin color, no matter what you believing, no matter which world you grow, which world you growing up from, let's just hold hands in the VTuber community. We talk about VTubers, we be friends, be patient, love each other. Okay, I feel like okay, not to be like um, like you know. I, I feel you want to give her the benefit of the doubt. It, it, it feels like a PR. It feels really like a PR response. It, it, it gives me PR response vibes. Like, it, it feels sort of like a soulless response in, in, in some sense. Stating that her stream was not the place for it, and who would blame her? Whole life fan bases were divided. It was essentially China on one side, and Taiwan and yeah. everybody else on the other. 
So it makes sense that a streamer whose main focus is entertainment mm -hmm. would want to steer away yeah, from further that fighting. Fair, hundred percent fair. That's race. great. I think it's that's I think that's that I think it's the way that you handle it. But obviously, I have seen the context of this, and that's not her actual opinion. So that's why I said it felt very PR. Exactly when came a shocking discovery, a crazy plot twist that no one could have anticipated. The discovery that the main perpetrators of the harassment campaign actually came from within Which is the insane. company. At first, it started as rumors. At the crux of the turmoil, some pro whole life Chinese fans called out Artia, Rosalind, and Doris as wolf warriors. Wolf Warrior is a Chinese nationalist propaganda movie. In fact, its sequel, Wolf Warrior 2, is one of the highest grossing movies in China's history. So in this context, the term Wolf Warrior is often used to describe a supporter of the Nationalist Party or the CCP in China. And Artia and Doris watched that movie on her channel during the incident. What the fuck? Wait, they watched it on stream? That, that's actually, that's fucking crazy. That's Yes, indeed. But these allegations were quickly disregarded. This was simply another rumor anti started to discredit the girls and further the simply another such, rumor. Such Archer's opinion to Chinese extreme nationalists on YouTube proven to be Chinese being salty. Thank you guys for believing in our information. Don't listen to this post, it's fake. Archer's are trying to spread false info to divide our community. That image is fake anti started hmm. to discredit the girls and further divide the fan base and this made sense this was more believable after yeah. all this was a period in hololife's history that was riddled with misinformation rumors spread like wildfire and navigating the cn girls are innocent and not and not done anything to offend the ch defend the china antis at all so it would be really disheartening to see them get affected issue is how do we help many of us here don't drill in Mm. The only ones we could support are Atria and Sylvia who are in Twitch and YouTube as for now. I don't know if Sylvia even get to be on YouTube anymore. Things get extremely... What is that word? Be... I don't... Be... Be harm... Be... I don't know. Sorry. Difficult for them. It might be best for them to sadly distance themselves from whole life and try to go from a new independent Chinese VTuber team with them keeping their VTuber characters with that cover and whole life can withdraw from China with good conscience while the CN girls get to continue their work freely plus keep their existing fandom inside China but that isn't something we can do though it's up to cover you know I mean I think it's definitely fair to like have that sort of um you know to like want to give them the benefit of the doubt and think no like they wouldn't they wouldn't do that right like because it, it's crazy it's crazy if, if they did do that i mean th th I, I think sure they did um we'll still i think she'll say later in this video they, they did do that but i mean like it's completely like you know naturally i think a lot of the times you know we, we want to give people the benefit of the doubt right it's, it's in human nature and i don't blame people for thinking yeah like no way the girls would do that you know why the the um cn girls are going to would like would, would do that harass coco because it is kind of crazy to do that was true and what was false was extremely challenging plus some people were claiming that every movie or game that was watched by the girls channel had to be approved by Hololive anyway. Mm. So CoverCorp had approved that movie. It probably held no political meaning, right? As rumors were going around the internet, some YouTubers news channels started reporting on it, but were met with so much backlash that they would eventually retract their statement. Oh. The general sentiment was that those allegations were fake and perpetrated oh. by antis to turn the Hololive members God, this against is, each there's other. A lot but of information then came here. a document compiling all of the evidence from a Chinese whistleblower. And those evidence that the world discovered in that document were truly shocking. While Artia and other Chinese members, with the exception of Yugiri and Echo, were maintaining a facade of being apolitical, meanwhile, on their alt accounts, they were covertly encouraging harassment of that's foreigners. That's insane. That's, that's insane. That's insane. Atria is blagging about taking part in a harassment doxing ca campaign in 2016. What the fuck? Chinese nationalist TV sp special 
specially named and plays Atria for. Oh my god, Jesus fucking Christ, okay. And even the harassment of their fellow colleague, Coco, as well as having very strong nationalist sentiments. And to that, I'll add that supporting whichever political party is a choice, and yeah. it's a personal choice yeah. that no one should be able to take away from you. I'm not here to dictate anyone's political view. Mm -hmm. However, I do believe that an individual liberty stops when they start to impede on someone else's freedom. And I think I think something though I I will say is that sadly in certain places of the world because of natu na naturalism there is innately more pressure to be on a certain political like, be on a certain political end right of the of the spectrum right um yeah like obviously um I 100% agree Like you can believe in what you believe in, but if it gets to a point where you, what you believe in is harming other people, or you actively hurt other people, then I, then I do not, agree, then I do not agree with you. But there is um, certain countries, certain areas where it can be harmful, can be dangerous for you when you don't side with, like, nat nat naturalism. Um, in the you know in the country's p political view in the majority of what the you know what the country thinks in like places like china it can potentially be dangerous for you to not side with them so there is that sort of aspect in things you know um of that that end of like the political um realm in the sense of like there can like naturalism like political naturalism like um being patriotic towards your country and being for your country you know these sort of things it can very much so be indoctrinated into you from a young age it's very much so like understandable in the sense of like you grow up in that environment that's all that's told to you and you grow up thinking oh I need to think this way because that's respecting my country that's respecting my people right and it's just it's just in the sense of um as a chinese person to an ex i can as a chinese person myself i can understand why people like atelier have that sort of mindset obviously i'm not agreeing with it i'm not saying she's right because obviously she is not but i'm saying that as a chi like as a chinese person as somebody who's she's probably living in china she's grown up there i can understand how you would grow up and you would have that sort of mentality because in a sense it feels like you know oh i'm serving my country right i'm i'm doing things for my country i'm i'm serving my country I'm respecting my country right and that is why innately people have this sort of mentality. In this case, they did. So this document got popularized by a YouTuber by the name of Zero Void, and who was like, hey, I think we should take a second look at this because this evidence seems pretty realistic. And that's when a whole can of worms opened oh. up. It was eventually uncovered that Artia had participated in a that's crazy Facebook event which was a cyber attack against Taiwanese political figures oh my God. and even Apple Daily. And it was even alleged that she was bragging about it and local news outlets were apparently praising her. The same day that Hachama and Coco were suspended, Artie had retweeted her pacifist post. There were some screenshots that were posted on her comment section of her saying the opposite on her Weibo account. That's and crazy. That's when people essentially found out about her alt accounts. And this particular fact linking her accounts together has been highly debated. I've even seen whole documents claiming that these were not her alts, hmm. which made me quite skeptical about the whole thing. Hmm. Because if those accounts are not her alts, then the rest of the evidence just crumbles. I mean, that is true, because there's, because, you know, I guess there's no way to 100% prove that it's hers. And there were also some accounts claiming that she didn't actually play a large part in the cyber attacks. All she did was offhandedly retweet some things. But then, as I dug further, I found much more evidence that was pretty damning. It seems 
seems now like the majority is siding with the fact that she did what was claimed that she had done. As even her fans were linking some of the accounts together, it wasn't too hard for Western fans to put two and two together. Hmm. And apparently this whole time, her true allegiance were known to her Chinese fans. In some posts Damn. that were exposed- I'm very confused and don't know what to do. Let's go to sleep good night. Stick to the bottom line and come on. And translated, she allegedly said, hold the bottom line, which means in this case, the one China policy. And on the day of Coco's and Hachama's return, she tweeted again on her Billy Billy account. We mentioned earlier that Doris and Artia watched a Wolf Warrior movie on stream mm -hmm. on the very same day Coco was suffering serious spamming. And this is what Chinese aunties had to say about it. We see them mocking and belittling for this is the problem. Ian audience for China, Chinese, Artias is hating, Artias is hating, all Holive members include Ho CN, which is not true. Foreign fans who are in the dark about the girl's true affiliations. Rhetoric such as these were pretty common as Chinese nationalist fans were laughing at the fact that Western audience even when faced with the truth, did not believe that the girls were wolf warriors and brushed it off as anti's propaganda. Mm. Also, they heavily supported the departure of Hololive China from Hololive as they felt like their punishment towards Coco was just not strong enough. Right. The document also revealed that certain Reddit and Twitter posts were faked by anti's to quell any suspicion against the CN crew. And this was proven because they found those very same anti's bragging about on Chinese oh. website. Essentially, the person who made the document finally admits that they decided to be the whistleblower for this because they were tired of seeing the whole Western audience support these girls and be- I know the truth might be quite mind-blowing for EN audience because you don't know much about the Chinese community. However, I am not asking you to stop watching them or boycott them after all of these. If you are their fan, so please be peaceful and enjoy their contents as always. If you don't mind, to those who feel uncomfortable after these, please just leave silently. Don't mention or ask them in their stream or social media accounts about it. The reason why I reveal this is because I can no longer watch my EN audience bros are keeping far away from the truth. I want you guys I want you guys to know what happened and that's all. Also I want to say sorry for my ordinarily Chinese speaker bros because my ordinary Chinese speaker bros because I know so many of them wanted to speak up to tell the truth but they always were claimed as antis. Yeah, you guys shoot shot your allies. After all, I just want to say thank you for supporting the girls. You guys make our community fun and wholesome but sometime you will need to be a simp with clear mind. Kept in the dark while behind the scenes we're getting mocked, berated, and dragged by Chinese nationalists. Basically, the whole life Chinese antis would blame Cover and Coco. Meanwhile, the whole life overseas fans would support Cover, Coco, and the whole make, life Chinese makes members. Sense. And while it was expected of the overseas fans and Chinese fans to be on different side of the fence, yeah. they didn't realize that the whole life China members were lying to the overseas fans and also blamed Cover and Coco with the exception of Yogiri and Echo. After wow, what we can damn. only assume some behind the scenes talk with Hololive happened, Sivia and Artia announced their withdrawal from Hololive. A lot of their Chinese fans, as well as their non-Chinese fans, were incredibly saddened by the news. But again, to Chinese aunties, this was despicable, weak behavior by Westerners. And they mocked them for missing the Chinese VTubers and even used racial slurs to describe overseas fans. Artia oh, then dropped wow, a tweet longer announcing her graduation. And then her and- Hi, I just- hmm, see, okay, what does this say? What does this say? Hi, I just removed whole life from my Twitter ID since we are parting away with it. No matter what, I'm still thankful to the company for giving me the chance to be a VTuber on a bigger stage, and I also met a lot of nice VTuber friends. I cannot doubt that many of you guys followed me because of the company title, but since we are parting away, if you here only for the company title, please unfollow me, but I'm truly thankful for those who believe me and support me here. That is the reason I keep my stream going, and I do love you all. I want to thank you to a lot of people, but I won't mention their names because I don't want them to get in trouble because of me or because of just being Ho Sien. 
Thank you for liking my fan art I made for you, even though I know you are busy. You are busy, and your song is great. You worked hard for it. Thank you for playing ARC with me. Even we had bad days, we still had fun. Thank you for chatting with me and tried to help me. You are a nice, kind girl. Thank you for drawing art for me. I barely receive fan art. That means a lot. I really appreciate it. And also, to a person I never talk with, I freaking love you, your songs. My managers are also really nice people. I know they all have a good future. They helped me a lot. I will still continuous, like, uh, continually support whoever nice and kind in the company. You guys are amazing and deserve people's love. Utterly are. I was also to clarify things that just happened today. What I did, I retweeted Akla's takeover cover that is on her official Billy Billy channel. I sang it on stream and I sang the song, shared the official song page on my di on Discord, and God bless you all. Okay. Sivia went live to explain the graduation of the Chinese branch on stream. They are yeah. still, we are still in the process and there are still a lot, a of, lot things of things to do. that we uh, both have to deal with and it's mm -hmm. not only about the company. But shortly it, after that, Cover made both of the girls retract their statement oh. as the company had not yet officially announced their graduation. Oh, Basically, they oh went right. ahead and oh, announced right. it themselves before the official before announcement. Oh, right. mm. And then came the official announcement. And I don't blame people for not initially believing this and for letting this behavior go on for way too long. After all, we cannot phantom what we could never do. And most people wouldn't be able to do what this girl did. It's one thing to hold certain bullets. I never watch CN so I don't necessarily feel betrayed. Atelier is a snake and if you are Yo Girl or Echo are innocent, it's unfortunate that they're getting caught in all of it, but it's more revealing than anything that cover is cutting off the whole branch and focusing on the markets that don't try to burn them down for offending their fragile naturalis nat national naturalism political views to yourself but it's another thing to lie and present yourself as a total opposite yeah to pretend that's you're crazy an person that's crazy who wouldn't dabble into politics but to then participate in cyber attacks it, and it shows pure like manipulation like you are like, like a crazy person go down harassment behind the scenes that's some truly evil mastermind puppeteer like snake stuff. snake that's the kind wow of stuff you only see in anime true when people finally saw artia for who she was there was shock the overseas fans felt slanted, betrayed, and rightfully so. Artia and Chinese partisans had been mocking them behind the scenes, calling them racial slurs and expressing anti-foreigner sentiments. Was this the same girl they had been watching and supporting? That's she so wasn't crazy. Apolitical. She was the banner. Here is suggestion. Artelia, stop tweets about your future and frustration regarding it until it's finalized with paperwork and everything. You have been creating enough drama for the past few hours and fans have been bickering among themselves Onto which due Chinese to this. nationalists were rallying behind. She was leading the charge. That's when crazy. When wow. started happening, Artia panicked and started tweeting on her alt accounts, trying to save whatever she could. Before she... That's so crazy. That is everything I want to say and please don't quote anything out of context. Aunties likely won't see this anyways. I won't delete or post anything from now on here. If you are reading these, choose what to believe with your own eyes. started tweeting on her alt accounts, trying to save whatever she could. All I did was showing my opinion on my own Facebook page and I retweeted things like this. I don't know if this opinion, this consider attacking others slash been a naturalist. Read for your own eyes. For me, I hope you changed your political your political idea because the second person's i the second pick's idea is so stupid third paragraph well actually it doesn't matter i don't follow you for political criticism and i agree it's not attacking others even this article really like mainland people role playing i don't understand political at all and i don't agree with everything in the second article but i okay the thing's blocking it but i don't know how it says people have misunderstandings. 
before she ended up privating her channel. And as a side note here, I only discovered Artya while discovering this story, so my lens will definitely be colored by this. Mm. I'm sure if you've been a fan of her at one point and you've seen different sides of What's her, not? you will probably see the story differently. And in all fairness, there are people who did enjoy her content and who did miss her departure. Because I was a big fan of uh, Hollow CN, right? Artya oh. was my, was my Oshi. Like, if anything would have gotten me blacklisted from, from Hololive, it's probably, like, the angry that I said about when HoloCN got shut down. So be aware of that, and you're free to make your own takes on this, of course, and I'll respect it. Shortly after these allegations came to light, Hololive was swift to act. Effectively they have to act. the whole Hololive China branch without further ado. They released statements announcing several dates for the girl's graduation and departed from China promptly. And Hololive pullout game was on point there because they left right before China installed a very strict law that would greatly affect oh, the down. in general. Whoa. China's national rate. What does it say? The latest code of conduct bans content that endangers national unity or denies the leadership of the Community Party of China, but it also forbids international creating hot issues in public opinion and showing a large volume of luxury goods, jewels, bills, and other such property. Oh, damn. Wow, Very okay. Very strict law that would greatly affect streaming in general. That would. China's National Radio and Television Administration issued new streaming guidelines concerning super chats and e-commerce, essentially making it increasingly difficult to stream and be a VTuber. They wow. underlined that streaming should promote good values <sighs> and bad values such as vulgarity and flaunting money would be sanctioned. This law also stated that a stream should have a ratio of one mod to 50 viewers. And not any mods, mind you, but government mandated <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. And it was even encouraged Jesus. to exceed that ratio, by the way. So hypothetically speaking, let's say a whole live streamer gets, I don't know, 2000 viewers per stream. Let's do the map here. It would result in needing 40 government oh certified moderators Holy for that shit. single stream. And this isn't just Jesus the last Christ. minute stream you do anymore. It's got to be notified to the NRTA in advance. But the most significant that's, change that's is that they crazy. also added a requirement for anyone who would like to donate through Super Chat. Real name verification or facial recognition, facial recognition. The manual review will be necessary to use Super Chat. Jesus tonight. Christ. Underage users will no longer be able to make donations. Furthermore, they have also imposed limitations on the amount you can donate. That's crazy. Money. Essentially, if you want to donate, you will basically dox yourself. After that's this crazy. Game, multiple notable Japanese VTubers decided to leave the platform to the demise of various aunties who of course decided in turn to harass them. You know what, I think you get the drill by now, let's just move on to the next segment. Article from the Xerto surfaced explaining that Bilibili is forcing all streamers above 500k followers to reveal their oh, I did I did hear about this. I did hear about this. This is crazy. I did hear about this. They will start with the larger streamers, but eventually everyone will have to reveal their names. Now, from my understanding, these are actually legislations that come directly from the government itself and seems particularly targeted at VTubers, as they already mm -hmm. had access to their information before, but now they are forced to display their the real, real name information wow. publicly on their Bilibili profile as well. This is particularly worrisome for VTubers yeah. whose anonymity is greatly important for their 100%. work. I am curious to see well, I mean, how also especially if you're at a company, right? Is out, ...as Niji Sanji is still one of the remaining prominent VTubing agency that stayed in China and that still streams on this platform to this day. Yeah, I, yeah I'm pretty sure Niji Sanji has a big... Chinese fan base. They have streamers such as Vox Akuma 
who has already had people breach his privacy in the past and has gotten multiple That's dox crazy. threats and even got doxed before. Jesus Christ. Perhaps we will see another large agency depart from there soon or not. Only time will tell. After the termination of the whole life CN branch, most of the girls kept on b 2 under other personas. But for most of them, these new careers were either cut short or very lackluster. Uh, sa sadly, sadly, I, I mean, you know, it, it's hard. It's hard being independent, being an indie, it's hard, you know? Turn up Echo, seems to be doing the best out of all of them. Let's go, let's go Echo, nice, nice. let's go, the in innocent one doing well, you karma. Karma's a bitch, you know? But um, yeah, that's good, great for her. Happy for her. She's doing well then. And became quite successful on Billy Billy, as she is currently sitting very close to one million. Fans. Wow. Okay. Good for her. Good for her then. Doris ended up becoming hated by her own. Oh no. What does this say? What does this say? Oh no. Fan base, as she got caught into even more drama. Ended what up more drama? Hated by her own fan <laughs> It begins with former audience, official AI, who donates a lot of 60% of Dorius's member and C SC income, didn't show, super chat income, didn't show up in a final stream. I's friend, official Kong, sent a super chat, said that I is busy and won't show up. Doris ordered I to say something which pissed I off, then Kong exposed that Doris asked I for an iPhone 12 in June by official account and Kong did this without I's permission. While discussing it, lots of people exposed more about her behavior like sending translation group members to men monitoring unofficial groups. Someone accused her joined Hololive illegal measures. Illegal measures? But didn't prove it before she joined Whole Life. She was running a VTuber account named Natsu in a company called Winx, and two of her former colleagues in Winx mentioned that in Winx, she took lots of resources from them, like a new outfit and a collab with Ka Kaguya Ma. She can't speak Japanese in that time. Those are only a half of exposed content. I guess I can write a book to explain the others because they are fragmate fragmented and for personal contacts for me at least she is great a great performer for Dorius from what I heard she basically had to gaslight her gen mates I don't remember the specifics but I believe she was saying that Atelier was playing both sides Sylvia was insulting her fans and that Echo had sexual f what wait wait what the fuck Echo had sexual favors with a fan for money. What the fuck? What? The funny thing, everything she said turned out to be her projecting and was found out by the Chinese fan base, showing proof of how badly she treated her fan base and later found out she was the one that had a boyfriend she was exploiting. Her career death is for being a backstabber and horrible person, oh my god. Ian does not want her, JP does not want her, and CN does not want her, and any sort of reincarnation would be met with severe backlash by all the anti she made because of her toxic behavior. As much as Arturia fucked up, Dorius literally became ju Judas for specifics. I suggest just ask or explore website with Dorius and VTuber as Google search. Damn. Damn. Fan base as she got caught into even more drama. Karma, I guess. Theory reincarnated on Billy Billy, but unfortunately had to graduate due to various reasons. No, Sylvia is still active on her new alt and seems to be regretting that part of her life. Watching some of her footage was quite touching and really made me doubt the accusations against her, as she seems like a genuinely sweet person. Mm. She apparently cut ties with anyone involved with Follow Life from that era, and I'm not gonna put footage of the girls that are still active on their new characters as i don't want people to go and harass mm -hmm. them Rosalind is yeah the, yeah yeah this is like they've they've moved on this was a while ago right this was this is a while ago like at this point you know they've moved on they're doing new things there's no point in like going and harassing them whatever when it's been so long after the incident anyway like how long ago was it? like two 
like no like three years ago two years ago like it's been a long a long time it's you know? still active to this day and enjoyed relative success cutting ties with anyone at hololive and as for artia she reincarnated as well but things didn't go so smoothly for her after oh. the new chinese law passed she ran into some financial troubles oh, no. she decided to show her face to her fan base and this completely backfired oh, as her no. fan base turned against her oh, no. because she didn't fit their beauty standard oh my fucking god no oh my god that's I'm, like yeah obviously obviously she here yeah, she she did some bad things but like that still that still sucks that that is gross from the audience to do jesus christ that's the that's the issue of face revealing like it's a whole concept of, like you know like dream it's just like when you're when you're a faceless creator the sad reality is you're never going to live up to the expectations of people like pe like you're never going to 100% live up to the expectations of what people think you look like which is crazy but um that's that's pretty messed up to be honest she then decided to graduate herself with an announcement stating that standards. she then decided to grab even i don't really stream on twitch or use twitter anymore but i still wrote something on twitter just to respond to those who always support me also i don't consider to ever be a vtuber again or a pro streamer but that doesn't mean i am not in the industry i just want to find a thing that makes me feel like with an announcement stating hello i am happily graduating or with I'll be back to school and find a goal of my life. I also found out I cannot balance both since I am a super focused nerd type lol. Right now I'm doing nothing but getting the money and playing games all day. Damn. Not even enjoying any games too. Oh damn, okay. I don't want to live like this, although I am earning twice much than before in whatever company, and though I spent everything away from my character for creating better things for my viewers and trying to see if I can reach my goal. I found out that I can cannot i don't have enough knowledge base or power for the things i want to do i want to be feeling like that i am part of so the society saying big is i want to find something that i can contribute to the world people are like hey you got 270 captains on billy before you can before you only having 120 average in whatever company can even get can even only get one the fourth why do you just leave I just want myself to be free and living my real self. That she wants to put V2 being behind her once and for mm. all and is simply going to work on herself from now on. Mm. Honestly, my opinion throughout this video has changed a lot. When I yeah. first started- Yeah, I agree. Honestly, I'm, I'm like kind of unsure now. I started researching for this, I had a pretty good idea of how I saw the situation, but then once I saw a lot more from both sides, I started to realize that this was much more of a nuanced situation mm -hmm. than it appeared. I realized that most people involved in this incident just want to move on from this, yeah. and it mm. seems like they regret a lot of their actions. In the end, no one deserves to be harassed, No, that no. Comes from both sides. Not at all. I blame the antis, but I still have a tough time blaming individuals. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're all going through life with our own different lenses, 100%. trying to do the 100%. best we can. But that's just my opinion, and I would love to know what you guys think of this in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Try to remember not to harass anyone involved. Dear, don't, in don't, don't do that, okay? Like, it's been a long time after the incident. Like, basically, I think everyone from this situation has basically moved on. Like, you sending anybody harassment from this is not going to change anything. It's not going to help anything. And, it, and even, like, and, and even, you know... Like, inherently, right, the victim, like, if you're going to say, like, the victim in this situation originally, you know, Coco, like, you know, people like, oh, the person that initially, you know, got that hate and got that harassment is doing fine now. We all know Coco's doing great and she's fine and she's in a better place now, you know? This video, don't be weird and please don't do anything stupid. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. Def definitely do, definitely do go and subscribe to her. She's, she's an amazing content creator. She makes great documentary i definitely agree with her um what she she said at the end yeah it's like i i yeah i really it felt like an up and a down like up and down would spiral i don't know if i think like anybody in the situation is like pure evil maybe dorius maybe some people yeah like their actions weren't um 
great, but it, it definitely does seem like they kind of have moved on from the situation. There's a lot of nuances and a lot of information going on. So I just, I feel like, to, to me, it's hard for me to come to, like, a single conclusion on, like, what I really think. But, um, yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys uh, think of this whole, um, situation. If you guys would like me to do more videos like this, let me know down in the comments. Um, I don't know if you guys do enjoy, um, this sort of, like, um, diving into sort of, like, whole life um, certain, you know, events in time or things that's happened in the VTuber industry, um, you know, to companies like this event or this, like, a situation. Let me know down below in the comments if you'd like to see, um, videos like this in the future. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please consider subscribing if you have not. And also definitely do go and subscribe to Rayma. Um, and so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely, yeah, do go and subscribe to, um, Lima. How do you spell this? Oh, God. Sorry, I'm, like, so brain farting. Rima Evenstar. Yeah, Rima. Definitely go and um, subscribe to Rima. I don't know why I had to check that out. <laughs> Again, I'm just like, it's been like 50 minutes. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next one. Bye-bye.